Now, U.S. immigration law is designed to do two major things. Uh, firstly, is to focus on family unity, uh, which uh, basically to bring other family members of current U.S. citizens or permanent residents. So, if a poor Mexican has a, a family here, then he probably will have a chance uh, to come into the United States. However, there are uh, numerical limitations set by Congress every year, so we cannot bring in unlimited number uh, of uh, relatives uh, with the exception of uh, immediate relatives, uh, spouses, and uh, parents and children of U.S. citizens. Uh, and the other category is the um, professional uh, or rich people with money or resources. Uh, our system, immigration system, focuses on bringing the uh, the most educated people, the most talented people, and the most rich people from all over the world. And definitely these categories of uh, immigration uh, bears uh, a significant challenge for a poor Mexican. For a poor Mexican to uh, come to the U.S. legally, uh, clearly I recommend, definitely I recommend uh, retention of, a, of an immigration attorney uh, that understands their background uh, uh, both, both professional and um, uh, and family, uh, and whether the, the analysis began be, be, begins as whether or not uh, any of their ancestors have been U.S. citizens, because believe it or not, uh, there has been uh, a lot of Mexicans who can acquire citizenship uh, through their parents or grandparents sometimes, so that should be analyzed first. The second thing that needs to be done is trying to understand that there's employment opportunity for them here in the U.S. and whether the employer is willing, uh, ready and able to go under the process of applying for perhaps a labor certification that they have a skilled labor, for example, if they are painters or tile layers or, uh, or any other skilled uh, positions. There is a process that takes several years, but there could be an opportunity there. And obviously, we have to analyze the uh, family members, if there is uh, immediate relatives, parents, sisters, brothers uh, who are here in the United States and explore that route. Once we narrow down the avenue, then we will begin the process. Uh, in some cases, we will be able to process someone reasonably quickly, but that is going to be probably less than 10% of the cases. In about 90% of the cases, the process can take several years and can be quite expensive. Um, to bring somebody here through either a labor certification, through a, an possible future employment, but we have to prove that there are no American workers available that are willing, ready, and able to take on the job uh, and then move on through this uh, uh, difficult and lengthy administrative process.